like to show a few examples of different pathologies based on location. So one location is the cerebellopontine angle. So we have your cerebellum, the pons, it's kind of the angle that it makes. And there's a lot of different uh, pathologies here. One is a schwannoma, which is a, um, you know, along the vestibular nerve, most commonly, cranial nerve eight. People refer to that as an acoustic neuroma. Those patients usually present with a combination of vertigo, hearing loss, and tinnitus. So you can see this lesion is um, right in the CP angle, tracking out along the nerve. Reasons for surgery would be if they're compressing on the brainstem as they grow. Uh, another example, more commonly than aneurysm, is an arachnoid cyst, a meningioma, and epidermoid. I'd say those four are um, very common in this area. Some other hints, and then they give this mnemonic here, same. Some other hints, um, meningiomas will uh, grow in a way that will narrow the um, internal auditory canal, whereas schwannomas will um, actually sculpt out and expand the opening and, and sculpt out the bone further. Meningiomas, I'll show another example where they have a dural tail. They originate from the covering on the brain, and therefore you can see a dural tail. Epidermoids uh, show diffusion restriction, so that's a very nice way. If you look at that sequence, there's restriction, that's a good way of telling you what tumor you're dealing with. Here's some other examples. Acoustic neuroma, or what we call a vestibular schwannoma. Here's a dural tail, suggesting more meningioma. These arrows show some other examples of dural tails here. Here's an example of diffusion restriction. You can see this bright area, suggesting an epidermoid. So again, the combination of different sequences and just knowledge of some of these, these features can be very helpful. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.